ذلك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهنا شراط المستقيم شراط النجين عمت عليهم غير البهدوب عليهم ولا الدالين الله الذي جعل لكم الله قرارا والسماء بناء والصوركم فأحسنوا صوركم ورجعوا من أيبا ذلكم الله ربكم فتبارك الله رب العالمين هو الحي لا إله إلا هو فأدوه مخلصين له الدين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين آمين آمين شكرا إمام جعلا بجب يا عبد الفلور Thank you, Chairman. Lord God, Jehovah, we come again under your throne of grace, of mercy, of love, and of divine compassion as a people that you have created in your image and in your likeness. We continue to submit ourselves under you. Continue to pray that by your divine grace that you shall assist each and every one of us to be true to our conscience, true to our fellow human being, and above all, true to you, who is the ultimate judge of all mankind. We continue to submit the sittings of the TRRC under you. We submit all the witnesses that will testify in this commission. That by Holy Ghost power, you shall grant them the boldness and the direction to speak the truth and only the truth and grant the commission the design in spirit to design between truth and falsehood and grant the populace and all those that are in the diaspora the patience to see through the right way that all things will be done in a just manner for the good and all people in this land. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Amen, Bishop Rodrigo. Uh, Council, are we ready with this morning's witness? If so, please proceed. Uh, Mr. Chair, we would need uh, two minutes uh, to get the witness here. Apparently, he was uh, with victim support unit, so he should be in maybe in a minute or two. And uh, do we need any arrangements in regarding interpretation so we can uh, not have was, any delay? That was already sorted out in the morning. That's good. Uh, I believe we would have it in Wolof uh, and in English. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you.
uh, Mr. Chair, the witness is being ushered in. Thank you. I, Dr. Tamsirungo. I, Dr. Tamsirungo. Do swear. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I'll speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. your testimony, Dr. Mbou, um, I am to remind you that you have just taken an oath, and uh, it is a criminal offense in the laws of this country to lie under oath. It is also an offense under the laws of the TRRC to provide false or misleading information. Are you aware of that? Yes. Interpretation in Wolof, please. Uh, Dr. Mbou, we would have interpretation in Wolof. So, you should... Uh, you and I should allow for that interpretation to take place before we, we speak. Uh, we we should also allow for at least three seconds in between speeches so that the speeches would not overlap. Um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Dr. Mo, uh, what are your full names? Louisa to access center, Dr. Mo. My full name is Tamsir Mo. My name is Tamsir Mo. Date of birth? 9th February 1964. Mangi Judo Jerome Nien Tifan, January February 1964. Could you kindly give us uh, a brief rundown of your educational background? Mungi Judo Wach, Chilu Gatarek, Sa Njanga, Fingadore Befam M. Attended Methodist Primary School. Mangi Jange Methodist Primary School. From 1969 to 1975. 1969 by 1975. Then went to Muslim High School. Then Muslim High School. From 1975 to 1982. 1975 to 1982. Did my O levels. My O levels. Then went to do my A levels at Gambia High School from 1982 to 1984. In 1985, I went to the University of Ileife to start my medical program. In 1985, I went to the University of Ileife to start my medical program. Where is Ileife? Ileife is from America. Nigeria la ila ifeneka. Proceed. Continue. In 1985, I left ila for the Soviet Union to complete my medical program. Gana vena kila fabaye kodem Soviet Union for e galifa naksuma wali njangu mfajum doktor. Where exactly in the Soviet Union? From the Soviet Union. That was the then, uh, that was the then Soviet Union, Ukraine, the town. German German Soviet Union, the Kabanyo Ukraine. Which university? Our university. Lugansk Medical. Lugansk Medical. And in 1994, after completing my first diploma in medicine, 
1994, I went to Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Ghana. Madam Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Chariwi Ghana. I spent two years there in Ghana. Made Fanyari at Chagana. Then in 1996, Atum 1996, I went to the University of Dublin, Ireland to do to complete my postgrad program in Opsen Gaine. Madam University of Dublin, Ireland, to get help on some of the young After completing my... Mr. Mo, allow him, to allow her to complete okay. the application. After completing my postgrad diploma in 1998, I returned back home. 1998, Then I was working with Royal Victoria Hospital. Uh, let's have a good idea as to your academic qualifications. What is the specific name of your degrees or your diplomas? That's the first diploma is the MD in medicine. MD in medicine. Then the postgrad diploma, that is diploma in Ops and Gaini. And by Ops and Gyne, you mean obstetrics and, and gynecology. And then, and then I had my LM, that is licensed medical practitioner to deliver. When did you complete your education? Up to now, I think I'm learning. Uh, when did you complete your no, university formal education, education? Formal university formal. education. 1998. Exactly. That was 19. University of Dublin. Yes. 1998. Yeah. 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 Dublin. And uh, you returned to Gambia that same year. That same year. at Binga Gambia. Yes. And you went to work at the RVTH. Binga continued the legacy RVTH. Wow. By then it was RVH. What? Thanks for that qualification. For some of us, really the difference doesn't matter. But I see that for doctors it, it really matters whether it's a teaching hospital or it's just a hospital. And since then, uh, when you joined RVTH, excuse me, uh, which department of RVTH did you go to work? Dipu Boba, Bangar Dore, Ligay, Chilotan, Bumagbe, RVH. Ban Fan and Gane Kondiligay. Opsan Gane. Chifana Bio, Opsan Gane. You have no new site to be rich again. And apart from your stint at the PATP, uh, would you say that all your work as a medical doctor uh, focus on ops and gyne? Ganao wakti binga def chi PATPB. Salige biye blinga def bena fana bubla neka ops and gyne. Fana bubla nrekna neka dilige yi. No. No. Did it. Could you tell us please? I was also doing general medicine. Mangon def meri fachwa hamne na kipla umba. Uh, where did you do that? In the hospital and in my own clinic. Because after your MD in medicine, you are a general practitioner. Uh, and would you say that your specialization is obstetrics and gynecology? Yes. Wow. And in that specialization, how far have you gone in terms of 
academic achievements. After my post diploma, I came to practice clinical medicine. Uh, we've been informed that even in the practice of medicine, especially in a major hospital, there are levels that one has to go through. At such levels without, speci in, without recognizing any order of seniority, you would have registrars, consultants, fellows, and things like that. Is, is, that, is that the case? So, in the case of the case of the case of the case of the case so, the people who Normally, in a general hospital, in a hospital, normally you have those ranks in a, in a teaching hospital. Uh, uh, RVH was not by the teaching hospital. Uh, yeah, either a consultant or a medical officer. Uh, but obviously, eventually, RVH became RVTH. Why can I be on your passe? RVH, which is called RVTH. So it became a teaching hospital. So, children, neka lapitan ba ham ne danyo fight be pare di jangale. What position did you hold in this structure? By then I was the chief medical director. chief medical director. But even at that, the chief medical director position is an appointed position, isn't it? Chief Medical Director, but the other levels like registrar, consultant, fellow, those are levels you attain by reason of academic achievement, isn't it? Why you know many registrar, fellow, academic, you ham ham binga am chibunti ligay kai bi chim fai lulu maham bi ham ham bi mola agale chipalas you. That is very true. I, I just want to measure your standing in relation to the highest level, which is fellow, I believe. I'm not a fellow. In any fellow, normally, uh, you are part of an organization, sort of, for example, Fair of, of the West African College of Surgeons. How, how about that of physicians? Well, I'm not a physicians. No, a physician is, a, is just a general practitioner, a, 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 a physician. You have a physician and, and then you have the surgeons. I, I understand, but there is also an association of physicians. That is the West African <laughs> Association. You have, the, you have different organizations. Russia, they have their own system. Gambia, they have their own system. America, they have their own system. These are all, all titles and being members. <laughs> Example, for example, I can be a consultant at Serakunda Hospital whilst I'm a medical officer at RVTH. But what I'm driving at specifically is that these are professional bodies, memberships to which would lend further credibility to one's qualifications. Well, Lima Topamoy, ye I'm botai la yo hamne. 
kepa ko hamle yang chi mbo ta yu da flag gena jok <hesitation> mahama wala ubil la ai bun ta yu hamle da fane ka yu kute chi yu chi sambiri ham ham ak chi sal gei bi gei bo hamle mu <hesitation> jublu wai mu jublu chi mbiri fai so lul fumle ka ni fufu lai to ka be maham fim muna to lu. I think that's a mistake because to measure what one knows in medicine does not depend on being a, having a fellowship or being a registrar or being a consultant. Ya karna lolo mom jum te burela ndax pour mo na natta ma xama net ki fim tollu ci walu fajum doctor nek ne dafa wara nek fellow wala consultant wala registrar. You are absolutely right, Dr. Mo, in that. But that is not what I am trying to do. What, what I am mean? suggesting is that membership in those professional bodies would lend further credibility or would further strengthen one's standing in the profession. Does it? What I Dr. Wiley, Mo, stop a moi. Prune kachimbo tayu magu. Da flag gana mei dole ubil la bunta pro sama hama binga am mu gana yoku chi ligai bo ham ne <hesitation> lulunga i da chi li 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 andak ligai yoyu mu ngimel li da flag gana yoka dole chi sa ligai bi chi linga bo ka chi mbo ta yoyu pas ki mbo ta yoyu mag la yoka ham ne <hesitation> nyungi ta hau. I don't think so because someone they will prefer after their first degrees. To go in for clinical medicine and have clinical experience, and that will go in for academic achievements, having the certificates. So I don't see any difference. Yes, my dad. Okay, to measure the level of what knows in medicine based on that. Yes, my dad. Okay, we. Now, 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 we are going to go and check and see how many seniors are. We continue. We are going to go to the clinic. The most important thing in medicine is is about your clinical experience. What you can do. And not the amount of certificates you have. Legena am solo na chuo ali faj moe sa ham ham atsa mun mun linga ham ne mungo muna def wai ne kur ai kei dio ham ne dan kota jale. Sorry, I've seen professors who cannot even perform simple surgical procedures. Just na ai borong ham ham yo ham ne opare bunda usah muning kota def. I I agree with all that, and it's the same. In every profession, but we also have to recognize that the professional certification itself uh, is a stamp of uh, uh, of credibility. is a is a stand of standing, and uh, wouldn't you agree with that? Maybe you dig a la why not? But for me, I can't do. Lulu, you have mandal gala. For one, I can't do. You got to tell me no. Maha mala mum cibo pam ci ligai binga def nonu so da fa nek mandar ga li woni yow sa taxaway sa ham ham ak sa man man i don't believe in that because my own professor used to tell me that doc the best thing if you want to be a good medical doctor is going for clinical and forget about these paper things man nak andu ma ci lolu ndax te kima dan jangal dan na ma wax ni so buge don doctor bu mun li nga def da ngay faté bir kayti nga jub lu ci liggey bi ci bopam ni ko muné ak ni ko def well by extension you could have forgotten about the md certificate and just be a trainee medical doctor and become a doctor as they used to do it before in the legal profession you did not have to go to law school to become a lawyer but ultimately There has to be a standard test, which would be uh, the measure to determine one's standing and to place you at a particular level. Otherwise, it would all be chaotic in society. You disagree, you disagree with that too? Yes, I disagree. Lima wafume kani moi lilo amsolola. Muna nga fate certificate yu tamitsak pru nga janga rek pru linga liga ling ningko defe ningko mane nga topa lulu rek <hesitation> wai nak fok nga li tam lu am solo la pru nga am ai ke dio ham nu moi wane sa ham ham sa ta hawai ak sa man man chi liga bo ham ne janga nga nak <hesitation> nga am lu si lulu. I don't because in matin. Matin that one I know once you have your first degree you can challenge any other person. Uh, It depends on what you know. 
and the not the amount of certificates or the, the, the different universities you work ndax ci ci walu tu fajum docteur so jexale sama xama mu ñika bi rek mën nga commencer sa ligéyum docteur ci ning ko mune nek ku ne da nga tok rek di dajale ay kayit docteur no obviously you left ife to go to lugans and i am well certain that you made that choice because of quality you wanted to attain higher quality isn't that the case docteur djogé nga ife nga dem lugan té so gisé nga def lu dama 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 fogné da nga bëgg am ma xama bu gëna koé bo xamné mo la gëna dolel ci sa liggéey mi I know I would have stayed in Kolebu because the practical experience I gained in Kolebu, I never got that in Dublin when I was in my postgrad. Man, suma ko hamon sa dama des ni fanyo wa Kolebu. Ndakte linga hamne mo ham ham arli ma jange chi Kolebu au ma kochi do do ban. And why you got all the all the other stuff? I can read it on my own. So what was the need wasting time to go for a diploma? yenen yi ci def yépp mënon na ko jang ci téré yi jangal ko suma bop jëlé fa xam xam docteur mo isn't it the case that you believe you got better quality at uh, kolegu as you call it in ghana docteur hana li nekku lo xamné euh taxay taxaway bu fort nga am kolegu euh fi nga demone jang ndax taxaway bobu euh taxaway bu comme là ci mbir liggéey bi ndax du non that is the practical experience the clinical experience clinical skills lolu moy ligey bi ni nga xamne nonu nga ko defé am ham ham ci walli ay opéré but by the extension let me let me just complete please and then you will find out that most of my clinical experience even no my my surgical skills what i was taught separately different from the normal routine system you pass through because it depends on your relationship with your lecturers nga gis na sax man xam xam bi nga xamne amna ko ci walli fajj ci walli opéré dafa outé ak anam yi nga xamne fofu lañ ko dé jaaré ci walli jangal dafa dess nak ci kila jangal docteur mbo if we go by your logic docteur mbo su top yow yoon bi nga woné ni there would not have been the need to leave muslim high school kon do to gambe high school kon amutum sohla pour nga bay muslim high school dem gambe high school and equally there would be any need to leave gambe high school to go to ife kon nak am jaruton tamit nga bay ba gambe high school dem ife these professional bodies is just another layer to add to the accreditation of uh, of of the education that you have received and we have to accept that as a fact bunta yo yo yeb ay bunta la yo xamne bunti yokute la ci xam xam ak eh man man bi nga wa soxla ci pour li nga meuna def ci sa ligey bi te lolu yeb ta fla yo ko ma xam ndax du lolu i think is different well i think come to medicine this is my area medicine itself but i think i think the most important thing is in medicine is your first degree eh uti na de ndax man ci walli fajj medicine i don't know of it well for others it is your specialization well for you and me li nga xamne mom nga jang ba mu ba nga ba nga setal ko bu baax ba nga am ci taxaway first degree is just the foundation the specialization perhaps would be most important would it it degree bu ñeka bi moy reen yi nga wara taxawé let me tell you something in medicine i have seen doctors who only had their first degrees but they are better surgeons than who specialize ma xama la leena nak de ci walli fajj amna ci ño xamne sen degree bu ñeuk rek lañ em te ñoñu sax ño gëna mën liggéey bi ci ñi nga xamne sen ma xama wessu na fofu that may very well be true and it's not unique to medicine it's in every other field lolu mën na nekk de te umut lolu amuton ci mbiri fajj rek de lolu mën na am ci yenen fana janga but that would not be the norm would it waye lolu du nekk lo xamne mo war ndax du non the higher your qualifications the higher the more specialized you are the more likely it is that you will be more effective and more efficient more likely sa xam xam sa xam xam ni ngeena ko we sa man man ni non la mo geena ko we 
ndax lolu mom mo la gëna yo ka taxaway bi ci liggéey bi nga def pour sambir mi gëna dem ko ndax du non let me just give you an example for example university of the gambia you can be a professor here if you go to lugans medical you might be only a registrar you will be called a registrar it's just a title haral ma jox la misal mu ngi melni university bu gambia mu nga fe nek professor waye nga dem ci benen university ñu ko wax lugans ñu mel nonu fofu mom registrar rek nga fa bu na doon that in fact reinforces my point it's all about quality lolu yeb mu nge gëna dolel fi ma taxaw parce que li yeb pour liggéey bi ak xam xam bi ñum am gëna amé barké Uh, if if in in Gambia uh, one is the only person with knowledge in one particular area yes you would be the top guru but if you go to the top universities in the world uh, you may not be even up to scratch fi Gambia su fekke na yow kene rek am xam xam bo xamne xam xam bi yow kene ko mom yag yow ke yow kene ko am legi ci bir rew mi fi mu nga nek ku gëna ko we waye bo deme ci yenen bunta ci biti sa xam xam bo mu na nek ne ku ndaw ngay nek te sa place bi dafa gëna waccha ñu 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 la gëna ko we no i don't agree to that because maybe you are a professor here you know more than the guy ye kolen e registra der nede lolu andu ma ci mun nga nek professeur fi waye hej na yaay gena mun wala gena am ham ham kanyo boye fele registra the only way there can be agreement in these different issues is when there is standardization and accreditation based on particular standards and that is what these professional bodies do no 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 it perpetuates all these other different views and once you attain this standard it is the gold standard you have you still disagree with that well am ndax mbir mi li la ci fekke ne euh 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 ma xama yoy yeb yeng lim ni euh yakar na ne gën ci am taxaway ak xam xam bu gëna ko we moy woné sa man man ak sa ma xama fim tolu ci yoyu te lolu dafa nek lo xamne lena la li la gëna yobbu ci ko ci xam xam bi ak ci man man bi liggéey bi nga def let me give you an example for example man jox la misal am more professor in opsan gaani man nekuma professor ci fanna bi ñoo opsan gaani but i don't fear any professor when it comes to surgical operations in opsan gaani waye nak nga luma ben professor ci wali opare bo xamne dañ ko def jigen some of this surgical procedures and they are called professors or consultants or any other name to you ray yu ñu leena o yena ay professor ay consultant ak yeneeni tu of course i do agree with that diga la lolu nanguna ci Uh, if you ask me i would also want to believe the same about myself so malaje man tam mun na bon pour suma bo man tam ci taaway bo but it does not necessarily make it a fact that i am the best lawyer in the world way lolu nak mu ta nek ne man ma gëna man ma gën ma da xalo ya yeb ci adina si but but let's leave this point way lañ bay fan na let us let it not detain us lolu bu mu taawal ben ap the fact of the matter is i'm very let me finish sir. the fact of the matter is there are still higher positions that your practice can attain do you agree with that lima wax ni moy de amna ay maxama yo xamne yu gëna ko we yo xamne ye yo mën nga top yo yo be ega ci place yo yo place yo ñom fa bété ndax du lolu for example let me just give you answer the question please The question is would you agree that there are still higher levels that you can still attain Ima lay moy amna ay maxama yu gëna ko we yo xamne ben tay yo mën nga fexé be egg ci maxama yoyu ci taxaway bi nga nek ni tay I strongly agree with you that's why I told you that I'm still learning No lu mom anda na ci lolu ta bi ñoo commencé man la man dey mbé tay ma ngay jang So the whole debate was in fact that there is a scope or recognize scopes or positions above your current position so waxtan bu moy won amna ay maxam ay place yo xamne ben tay ñu ngi gëna kowé yow fi nga nekani ci place bi legi ni tay 
You agree with that too? That is one like point I want to emphasize. But do you agree with that point? Good. I want to emphasize one point here. No single doctor in this world can claim to be an authority in medicine. Can claim to be an authority in a particular area of practice. Yes. And it is precisely for that reason why you have areas of specialization. You agree with that? I strongly agree with that. Wow. And, it and, it is, and it is also uh, for that reason you have professional bodies uh, that offer certifications for the various areas of practice. Isn't that correct? We are going back again. We are now situating... Because in medicine you have different schools of thoughts. You have the Russian school of thought. You have the American school of thought. You have the West African school of thought. You even have the Gambian school of thought. Dr. Chiwali Fach, you have to say that 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 you have to say that. I am not talking about schools of thought. I am talking about certification. I am talking about certification. I am talking about certification. For areas of specialization. The reason why I'm saying this, for example, if you are a member of the West African College of Surgeons. So you say my wahli, chimisal, mufikere yangi boka, chimbota ibenyo West African College of Surgeons. If you go to Russia, you cannot even practice as a medical officer. So you demay chare yu Russia, do famuna desa lige ifa yu doctor. Because you have to sit for their exams. Dr. Fok nga jil naksen natum ham ham. But that is normal. I am a lawyer in Gambia, I cannot just go to England and practice. So... Because of the peculiarities and also the protectionism that every professional body would place in its own country. But that takes us further away from the point. Let's agree that with your standing now in the practice of medicine, there are certain levels above your current position. Correct? Regardless of how proficient or experienced or skilled you are in your area of practice. I will not agree with that. The reason being, the reason being, let me explain myself. The reason being, presently, I'm not trying to praise myself or to say that I'm a good option guy in a doctor, but I don't think there is any surgical guy in a procedure that I may need to consult someone. And Dr. we celebrate that because all of us want to see uh, highly competent Gambians in every field. But that is far from the point that we are talking about. My point is, if your standing is one of consultant, all right, there are still higher levels. 
Si fait qu'un certain Hawaï, nous sommes bien au niveau consultant, nous sommes sur la voie, nous sommes dans le métier, nous sommes dans le milieu, nous sommes dans le milieu. Oui, les mains ouais, nous sommes à une place de yoga, nous sommes dans le Hawaï. Mais de you respect, respect them as 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 uh, levels you would wish to attain or not. These these are still positions or standing that are higher. The fathers, da yo buganga ega fufu sa sa baga baga sa buga buga. Wala waili ay plus la yo hamne dengko e. Gano ne ka yuko yo hamne. Nyingi gano ko e plus yo hamne. Amna nyiko am mitebente nyingi lige. You see why I'm arguing this point because I felt into that trap. Once in my medical practice at RV. So you say my wahli, musna curuk nak cibal mulu zaman aja ngah hamne mangdon li tanpa mampu banyu. I could remember when I came back in 98. Mang efat teleko, memang dia lusi wati ciri umi atom 1998. Because none of them knew me by then. Zaman obo nak kian hamaguma. The first day I took the call to be the doctor on call. Bima njake koma senak deman my doctor binga hamne na besu buma don lige. I could remember then the head of Opsan Gaini, the unit. Mange fatalo kinga hamne mu jiti wun Opsan Gaini. Tell me that. Chila mawahne. Today you are on call. Hey nak yo yai doctor bi fine kapur lige. But your consultant. Why kinga hamne mu sa consultant bi. He called. He told me the name of the that individual. Luckily for me. That day I, I had three operations. So after doing the operations without consulting the so-called consultant, because to me he was not my consultant. The following morning, it was a big fight whether I should have done the operations or I should have called the consultant, the so-called Dr. Mbo, are you one of those individuals who are averse to establish order? Dr. Mbo, can I ask you to ask me to ask me to ask me to ask me? No. Did you look down upon the person's abilities? No. Do you have any questions? Or you have an overblated expectation of your own abilities? No. Okay, uh, let's just move on from this topic. Because for as far as I'm concerned, we've established that uh, your level, as you called it, was that of consultant. And, and I just wanted to establish whether you had gone beyond that level and whether you have done all the steps needed to attain the highest level of specialization certification like fellowship in ops and gaine or things like that but that's not the case so let's move on nine them nine them chicken out on this set on that as a tower i be a gun got i i i plus in our top of me to plant in new new bitchy co be aga plus what i'm my fellowship i go so no not on this end that i can go for for everybody no 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 go by gonna we continue between uh 2004 and 2007 uh, you had attained uh, the position of director of uh, health services and at some stage minister of health. Is that the case? During 2004, 2007, some have been able to get a place where they have been minister of health. My minister was able to get a place where they have been. Yes, I was the health minister between 2004 to 2007. And in January 2007, some seminal event took place in this country. 
ci euh wéri janwari 2007 amna ay xew xew yu doy wari xew sirew in order to gain time i would not show you a video of this event pour mu mëna am waxtu jarut ma won la video bi pour mbir mbir momu but i am sure we would both agree that this event took place way ñu yëp dinañ nangu né ay xew xew yu yu am la yu yewon la ci rew former president yaya jamé ki fi nekkon president yaya jamé announced that he had found a cure for hiv aids wane nane mom amna garab lo xamne dina mëna wëral febar bi ñu oyé hiv ak aids is that true ndax lolu dëgg la did that event took place yes that was on the 17th of january 2007 waaw nonu fukki fana jëm ñaar la won wéri january 2007 and he said that he received a mandate from god to create the cure from seven herbs mentioned in the quran mom waxon na ne am nañ digal bu joge ci yaala pour dina mëna fajj febar bobu ci fekene bolé na ay xobi garab yo xamné dem nañ ba jëm ñaar Uh, he didn't tell me that he told me that he had the herbs but that he had he, he had the herbs waxut man no de way waxut na mané potency waxut na mané amna ay reen ak xop yo xamné muna to eliminate the hiv x virus that is what he told me personally muna dax li nga xamné modi jangoro hiv x Uh, I think it is important that we uh, get the language right. For na amna solo pour ñu wax cadeau yi nim nim waré nim gëna euh djubé ak nim waré. Um the public record reveals that Jamé said he has the cure for hiv aids in fact he said and i quote mine is not an argument mine is proof it is a declaration i can cure aids and i will wax bi mu waxon nonu moy bi mo digle ne mom amna garab bi dafa wax ne mom bu sam nekkut mbiri waxin len wala wirante waye mom amna garab bo xamne dina wiral febari hiv aids mom non la ko wane won what he told me was that he had the medical herbs man lima wax moy amna ay xoba ki ren yo xamne dafa fajj that have the potency té lu garab yoy mënon na amna doole pour fajj okay hiv aids viral li nga xamne modi joomi jangor hiv aids that has the potency to what to cure or eliminate then because he normally use those terms cure and eliminate but i'll explain to you if you want to the difference between the cure and the and to eliminate mom kaddu yim dan wax moy dina wiral wala dina dax doomi jangoro ji dem set wecc e ñaari kaddu yoy mom la dan jeffu bo mu ngey nak mu na la ko leralal for now i will settle for an agreement on the terms used wante man tam dina nangu ci kaddu yoy mu wax nonu dina ci nangu ah he used to he used to use two terms i will eliminate the virus I will cure the virus. Ñaari kaddu yoy la daan wax ne e doomi jangoro ji dina ko dax bem set benen bi tam mu ne dina fecc bem wer. And uh, I would accept that he used those two terms. Dina nangu ne ñaari kaddu yoy la doon di wax. And our inquiry. Ci suñu gis gis bi, ci suñu gis gis to bi of what eventually happened would be based on this premise. Li mu je xew bañu gis ko ci yoyu la wëru we would base it on this premise did he cure hiv aids did he eliminate the virus ndax fajna febar bi bem wër wala dax na doomi jangoro bi ci nit ñi bem wër 
he eliminated the HIV virus. And he cured the HIV AIDS virus. Uh, you in fact reinforced the position that I just said. Our inquiry would be anchored on that premise you just made, on that proposition you just made. From you are, you are highly welcome. Thank you. Uh, in fact, uh, this was called a breakthrough. Time I think, I think that's a mistake. To him, it was his own breakthrough. But so many people has they have claimed that they have the cure for HIV. Yes. And he said he could cure HIV AIDS in three to ten days. Yes, I could remember that. And on that basis, a call was made for people with the disease to come forth for treatment, correct? No, I think the message was if anyone is interested. You can come. It was on a voluntary basis. But in fact, that is not the case for the first batch. I don't know much about the first batch because I was not part of the first batch. I was not part of the people who made the selection. Let's take a small step backwards. At the time of this breakthrough pronouncement, you are the Minister of Health. Yes, I was. And you had superintendency over the implementation of the national HIV policy. Correct? It was under the Ministry of Health because anything related to health is under the Ministry of Health. But I was not overseeing that section. But it is obvious that as health minister, uh, you are responsible for all government interventions in that sector. Why said Nane, Comcayane, Con Minister Busai to Mbir, Wilguram Siromi, Connak, Li Liga Labo Hamne, Saron La Neca, Puru, Lepolo Hamne, Mirifaja, Puru Mungache, Am Kadu, Walla Mungache, Amlo. That is true, but the president is my boss. No, Lady Gala, why not president, but one more, one's my boss. I think we would come to establish that and come to establish that in fact. Uh, you followed his orders as your boss. And okay, I'll, I'll, I'll move on. During this period, as at the time of the breakthrough announcement, uh, HIV AIDS was no longer 
a death sentence in Gambia. Do you agree to that? What to be more, what to be more, what to be more, what to be HIV, Nekuten, Nekuten Burmo, Hamna Kunjapa, Lady Dayo, and the Kokodal, Fanam Dafaji, and Fade. Up to as we speak, Convention on Medicine has condemned all HIV its patients to death. Uh, well, Dr. Mbou, the science. That is the science. I'm the talking about science. Science has condemned that when we are HIV AIDS patient, the prognosis is very poor. The survival rate. It's just recently with the new antiretroviral drugs that the prognosis has been increased. Wow. And this is but, but conventional medicine has long time condemned all HIV AIDS patients to death. Benjamin Jimawa Hani Yosa, Ninga Ham Nanyo, Baram Ham Ham Chuali, Fat Baram Ham Ham Haraway, one in Nanya, Kuam HIV, it's Dalm, Gentil, Vidan Chel, Wai Hana, Lake Bingham, Kumasen, and Dijifu, Linyon Nan, Yuriko, Antirotroviral, the Chilean Gisna Legi, HIV, it's Dalbom Jangorobi, Dolorari. And in 2007, there, were, there was already antiretroviral drugs in Gambia, correct? Depe 2007. Yes, that is very true. But let me tell you, by in 2007, many patients they died of HIV AIDS. Well, in 2007, I'm not HIV AIDS. Yes. Conventional medicine. Conventional medicine has condemned HIV AIDS patients to death a long time ago. So to conventional medicine, there is no cure for HIV AIDS. But my point, and, 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 sorry, and there is no medication that can eliminate the HIV its virus from the human system according to conventional medicine. Let me remind you, you don't only have conventional medicine. You have also traditional medicine. But I will come to all that, okay. Dr. Mbou. No problem. Uh, my point is, as at 2007, advancement in the treatment of HIV AIDS has so succeeded to the point that that HIV is not is no longer a death sentence as it used to be before the discovery of antiretroviral drugs. HIV fever be ninja ke won kum japare sa fan jeexna eh waxtu boy waxtu bi amé grave yow ñu oyé ARVs wéci na mbir mi parce que bu ñëk bi suñ ko nit amé su am nit amé fever bi dañu ne fanam jeexna way grave yow bi ñu feñé wéci na loolu mu na dimbalé nit ki mu am dundam ba ci kanam I strongly disagree. In 2007, so many patients, very few patients even dare to declare that they were HIV AIDS. In 2007, we were in 2007. But you are answering a completely different question. My question is, with the advancement in the science and the medicine, HIV AIDS was no longer a death sentence in 2007. In 2007, HIV AIDS was no longer a death sentence in 2007. Uh,
It was still a death sentence in 2007. Is it a death sentence today? Why not tay? She jamanoji. Ben tay. And bamfe ya bunge kamuno la me bete death sentence la kumja pa danga de. I will not say so. Manak nuwa wa lule. Why? Luta. Because now you have different types of medications in the market. Both from the traditional sector and the conventional sector. Let's focus for now on the conventional. You're highly welcome. And uh, these medicines were not available in 2007? When you talk of the medicines, there are these generations of medicines. New ones are coming every time. So we And to understand how the antiretrovirals work. I, I, think, I think we will come to that. Maybe let's just focus on the impact of these new medicines on a person with HIV AIDS as of 2007. Let's focus on that for now. Later we will talk about how antiretrovirals work. Is the same ARVs, the ARVs you're talking about, the antiretrovirals. But the most important thing, their effectiveness depends on the way they act. My point is, they are in groups. My point, Dr. Dr. their effectiveness will depend on how they act, on the uh, the. Mm -hmm. Killer, the T helper lymphocytes. We'll come to that. Yeah. Yes, we will come to that. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is, by 2007, there was hope, at least, for people living with HIV AIDS, because there was medicine available that could prolong their lives, and, and if used properly, could, ex could give them the possibility of living a healthy, normal life. Do you agree with that? I grab the amount in 2007. Grab the income. Grab the grab to buy line. Why is it fair? Can I? Can I go home? No, I'm not fair. Barbie. Ngaijel grab who namuare kom nengko wahe muna amu johna nini yakarne dinan muna am fanbu guda bo hamne at least dinan jambe ega mahama bo hamne dinan muna defsen sohla topprosen sohla defsen lige kom nengware feka e bin tela de kom ni bunge kabi nimfene wun bimfene wun. I think hope has been there from the one since. Allah created man because it's clearly stated that there is a cure for any disease. And so is the time they will discover what and when. Then why would you say it was a death sentence before 2007? I didn't I didn't say that. I said according to conventional medicine. When you get HIV AIDS, the prognosis very poor. According to tra uh, conventional medicine, not traditional medicine. And you, and you don't believe that? Uh, you don't believe that? Oh, no, 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 no. For me, yeah. personally? Uh -huh. No. All right. Uh, perhaps maybe that inf informed your future actions. But I'm born, I'm born Muslim from day one. I, 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 I,
because it's clearly stated in my feet. Bala madone ka doctor sah gumo na mi fe bar bune ka abna fech na telo lo bu fe nyal nen kuchis ma wali. You can say that maybe I don't know the cure, but to say that there is no cure. Munga wah ne hek nya muna am how malan mo kuweral why pur wah ne amu garab bu kuweral. You see, Doctor Mo, we can have a lot of debates in semantics, uh, and, and, and that would be absolutely unnecessary. It would be boring and a waste of our time. Intellectually and academically, it may be interesting, but it does not advance the purpose of the commission. Uh, clearly, if we don't know it, it is as good as it doesn't exist for us. <laughs> Mula nyu amuiran terfasa mubari ki umbiri HIV AIDS komuniko ini. Tiada lulu defa gina ya gambar muaynak lima wahni mui Februari bi Februari labo hamne komuniko he legi legi ni ni mode me ni 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 sen gum gum aksen khalat ni uta cimbur ni ak garab inga hamne nyu fein mota nyu jomna ni ni yakar. Uh, no, the point I last made was, perhaps maybe I spoke a lot, <laughs> I should have sought in my, in my statement. The point I want to make is, if we do not know the cure, the cure does not exist for us. Would you agree with that? <laughs> you can always say, I don't know, but not others don't know. On natural medicine, you can say yes, there is no cure. But the issue here is not that. The issue is that there is no known cure. For respect, I strongly disagree. Uh, we would come to all that. I think you would have a chance to explain why you think that there was a cure uh, in traditional medicine and why you think that what Jaya Jami offered was a cure. We would get into all that. After Yaya Jame made his declaration, did you eventually have anything to do with the program? I was the director general. My main role in that treatment program was to help him clinically be monitoring the patients. My role in that treatment program was and what does that entail? That is the well-being of the patients. Mm -hmm. And as a clinical part, mm -hmm. clinical part of medicine. And uh, what would you normally do in discharge of those functions? Be taking complaints from them. Monitoring whether they have any symptoms. Or any abnormalities. And report to the president. And advise him whether the patient should be referred or not. Referred to where? To Normally, depending on where we are, whether we are in the Congo area or we are in Funyi. We are in Funyi, patients are normally referred to Buyam. Dr. Mbou, if we are in the greater Banjul area, 
So ne ke bori banjul. Most of the time we refer the patients to Royal Victoria Kitchen Hospital. Pa yep dañ la yobbu ci l'hopital bu ko ci banjul. Amen. So feke ne amna dara lo xamne dal na borom. And uh, uh, how was this treatment, the HIV treatment? Uh, how was this virus eliminated? Uh, how were these patients cured by Jami? Let's start your, your explanation from when you joined the program with the first batch. Uh, Many occasions we are given to the patients. What kind of medication? Up to now, I cannot tell you the type of medications the president was using. But according to him, according to him, he told me initially that he was using about seven different medications. Later, he told me that he was using more than 20 different types of medications. That included the infertility and other treatments. But he never specifically the type of medicine. I could remember too, he once told me that some of the medications are from the Gambia. Others are from America. America. Latin America. Latin America. When I could remember. But he never told me. The and, you, and you believed him? Did you believe him? No, I should sure <laughs> not believe him. I don't know the medications. Okay. I am surprised you believed him. I don't be surprised. Even the drugs I'm using in my clinic, I don't know where they're from. Did he carry on as if he was a medical doctor? Well, to my understanding, in medicine you have the conventional doctor and then you have the traditional. But first, let's establish that the medication he was giving was traditional medicine, correct? Why, I'm telling you, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. According to him, it was herbal medications. Well, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. And in fact, he claimed to have inherited uh, this knowledge from his father. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, I think the whole country knows that canela is known for traditional medicine. Canela is known for fixing fractures. Canela is known for fixing fractures. That's orthopedic medicine. It all boils down to medicine. But, but isn't it a completely different branch? Uh, let's not speak over each other. Uh, is it not a completely different branch of medicine? And wouldn't HIV, AIDS be in sexual or infectious diseases? Well, well, the mode of transmission is still, there are arguments, whether through kissing, through sex, there are different ways. Well, HIV AIDS, and the more well, and the better, I'm not a young, young, the more ham, the gigante go again, more ham phone, and the again and again. But it falls within the branch of infectious diseases. Why? Yes.
and uh, it's completely different from orthopedics. A traditional uh, practitioner doesn't know what infectious diseases are. They don't know the etiology, the pathogenesis, the pharmacology. Well, that's your impression, Dr. Mbou. No, no, that is true. That is true. If, if just, allow me, just allow me. For the person who is doing orthopedics, obviously the person would know bone structures and so forth, wouldn't they? Yes. Yes. And, and the traditional bone healer would understand bones. That is true, and also will understand the herbs, the medication. They don't just fix your legs like exactly. that. Exactly. Your fracture. They give you medications to drink. Wow. They know also medicine. But this, is, this is precisely the point I was making because you suggested. The traditional medicine, traditional healers don't know these things. I am telling you that they do know these things. They and they also have specializations. You agree with that? I agree with that. But let me also emphasize one point. For example, giving you just an example, a person having hepatitis. If you go to some of these traditional healers, they give you the medications to cure you. But they don't know the causative agent. They don't know the pathogenesis of the virus, whether it's a virus, protozoal, or bacteria. That's the point that I'm trying to emphasize. Do you find that dangerous sometimes? Medicine? is the restoration of the sick to health. So once you opt for any form of treatment, be it conventional, traditional, there are risk factors. Dr. Bo, you are answering an entirely different question. Why would you the proposition you just made about traditional healers not knowing the implications or the effect on the person of the medication that they give, I am asking whether that is dangerous or not. We all accept there are risk factors in every medicine. In fact, every medicine is some form of poison, isn't it? Why a lino and a tea fajam nit cool, grab in your johe? I'm not I te hati hatio ham the moonache, I'm me grab in your johe, no lula don't do what ne. No, you get your hair grab your way, ham and da li, I'm no law ham luga, I'm no luga, I'm no ham the negative, tino fajna, grab in moon, dohe tiramam, munaco is in a jaffe. And my point is that Sumo Wahbinak Mui li. That it is dangerous to give medicine without knowing the implications or the impact or effect it would have on the person. Would you agree to that? No, I put your head garabo hamne. Young Koja, why hamulo garabi? Yan te hate hawala yan jaffe jaffe la mo is in Nil Kingaham the Kokuma your garabi. Suma was with Slulu and Nahuliga. I think you are right, but let me tell you one thing. With due respect, I think to the traditional healer, he will have his medications, but cannot explain in a conventional way how the medications they work, 
nakala garab bi do hay sayaram bi that's always a problem lolu nak moy jafé jafé bi and the and the impact it would have on all the organs of the person they would ak, not know ak uh, limo isil nit ki ci uh, ay af ya ya yo xamna ñu ci bir yaramam uh, ay jafé jafé mo isil lolu xamna mu ci bir nit ki gaay duñ ko mëna xam they know the side effects a good traditional healer, just like a good conventional med, uh, a doctor, he will know the side effects of any medication he or she is given to his or her patients. But conventional, you would, ex you would accept that uh, when it comes to side effects, there are some that are easily visible, those that have symptoms, and there are some that are internal and may not be so visible. You um, agree with that? Amna ay garab yo xamne bu ko nit ki jeli eh jafé jafé yu la isil mën na nek lo xamne dina ko feñal ci biti be nit ki dina ko mëna gis ne li jafé jafé la bo xamne garab gi moko isi way amna yena yo xamne du feñ borom du xam ne li garab ge ko def way dina am jafé jafé bo xamne da fa nobu borom du ko xam do you agree with that? The side effect is the side effect. The side effect must be exposed for you to know. If you don't know, then that means that there is no side effect. There is any hidden side effect. Then that medication does not have that particular side effect. The way to go side is the symptoms. After taking a particular medication. If I take paracetamol and started bleeding, then for me, the side effect is the bleeding. But if I take side effect, eh, hey, sorry, if I take paracetamol, and there is no problem with me, where is the side effect? The How will I know? If the, if the bleeding is internal, uh, would the traditional healer be able to detect that? Si fe kene nacha bi borom di nacha te ci bir la nacha feñut eh ki fej ci yoni ala bi ndax borom dina ko xam they know internal bleeding traditional healers are equally good as conventional yeah yeah no dinañ xam da ki nacha ci bir ndax te tamit dañ wara xam ne ñi fej ci wali nit ko ñool ñom tamit dañ mu seen liggey nak comme essentially mr tambo what you have just done is you have just negatived all the problems you have just mentioned about traditional healing. You know what I feel like? Con lolo, reina, leg palo hamne, mungu boka chi faju ada lo hamne borumbu ame jafe jafe. Kom la fawa ne ne kenu mu na ham jafe jafe yu kumpasa. I see you. Reina le niyo. You see, shaking your head in disagreement, I'll give you then the opportunity to tell us again what are the problems with traditional medicine. Maybe, maybe you don't seem to understand me. What I'm trying to emphasize is that. On the traditional medicine, they cannot explain through the conventional scientific way. That's the difference. My point is, not only can they explain in the scientific conventional way, but in addition to that, they would not know the full effect of the impact of the medicine that they give. Don't know the full effect of the medicine that they give. the they what it could cure. They may not know 
everything else it does on the person. Why do you want to know all the things that you did not do in your life? Would you agree to that? I agree, sir. 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 I Exactly. But to the traditional healer, you will not know the topo topographic anatomy. Exactly, this but is the point. A good surgeon, uh, and for example, the orthopedic does not know what is anatomy, what is anatomy, or what is topographic anatomy. But he will fix your bones for you. Uh, that is very. That is precisely the point I'm making, Dr. Mbo. Thank you. While they may do things, uh, their level of knowledge is not holistic. Like all these other branches that you mentioned, which are necessary to have a complete scientific understanding, they don't have that. Comme li nga wax ni fanna yi nga wax ni yeb ñom mënu ñu am xam xam bo xamné mom moy nata yoyu yeb wané ko mo umba loolu yeb mo umba loolu yeb but at the end of the day no, just answer the question you are right i strongly agree with you Good. thank you thank you and 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 let's move on because we have to make progress ah, okay okay and my point is isn't this dangerous? The situation where one is giving medicine without knowing the full impact, the whole spectrum of the impact that medicine could have on the person. Isn't that situation dangerous? That is, that is both to the conventional healer or to the conventional doctor and to the traditional a good traditional doctor a good traditional doctor will never give herbs that will cause intoxication the same thing applies to a good conventional medical doctor. We'll never prescribe drugs that will have harm. Lulu, don't you understand the difference? Doctor, we both will fetch you all the drugs. And doctor, we won't go harm the drugs. Fetch you all the need to know. No, you can do it. Just keep on fighting. Don't harm the drugs. We have to take our first break. And uh, we would come back and continue this conversation. But perhaps maybe when we come back, uh, we should speed up on some of these issues and make progress. There is a whole lot of ground to cover. Thank you, Mr. Then I am soon break. We just have a few words. We need to get the language of God and learn more because the leaders are now burning a lot of money. We're not going to get any. Jerry, we'll take a coffee break and come back at 12:15. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.